Welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are we got to get some wood and a few more nails before we uh, continue building on our base there. My plan is to move the uh, <clears throat> excuse me the the turbines and the solar panels off of the roof at least temporarily and then put them just down somewhere in the yard um, so that we can continue building up our tower. Uh, so that is kind of what we're working towards. Uh, we're not doing super bad on nails, um, but we, we definitely don't have the requisite 300 that I like to have uh, before I start another building session. And uh, we're very low on wood. So we're going to be out and about just kind of doing a little bit of everything uh, in this episode. Getting wood, getting ore, getting loot. I have one lock pick on me. Do a little bit of hunting and yeah just kind of do everything so uh yeah i know it's been a while since i've released a subsistence episode there are a few reasons for that one of them being that i've been very busy in real life my son uh just recently graduated from pre-med school got his bachelor's degree at the university of colorado um and then after that the week after that <laughs> He got married <laughs> so um we've been so yeah we've been celebrating that and had family over and stuff and it's uh made things a little bit uh busy for me in real life uh but a good kind of busy definitely a good kind of busy so that's going on uh i've been playing a lot of undead legacy uh the seven days that i overhaul undead legacy and just thoroughly enjoying that um so i my focus has kind of been there um and just, you know, kind of wanted to take just a little break from subsistence because I've been playing it so much. And when I say break, I don't mean a long-term break. I just mean, you know, take a couple weeks off um, before continuing to play it. So that way it stays fresh for me too. So those, those are kind of really the reasons there. Let's see if we can get this chicken here. We got him. All right. Uh, I believe we only have one chicken back at home, so we're going to have to take this feller back. Uh, ooh, there's another one, too. All right. I can't tell if we... No, we didn't get him. Well, we killed him, but we didn't get him alive. So let's run this chicken back to the base and get him in the thing, and then we'll come back out and continue on and do the thing here. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, it is definitely, if you, in case you were wondering, uh, it is my intention to keep this series going. But probably, it's probably going to slow down in terms of, you know, daily videos for now. Um, but I am planning on keeping it going. So, it's just going to slow down a, a little bit, but not stop. So, hope everybody's good with that. Um, you know, from a channel perspective, I'm getting uh, quite a few more views um, on Undead Legacy than I am on Subsistence and that, you know, I got it from a, you know, channel business perspective. I have to take that kind of thing into account too, but that's not, you know, that's not the overall deciding factor though. I'm, I'm playing the game because I'm still enjoying it and it's still a good game. So I will uh, continue doing it, but again, it's not going to be daily videos. It is going to slow down a little bit, but continue on. All right. So enough of that. Let's, uh, Get back here, get this chicken in, and then get right on back out. I, I have no idea. Oh, there's a, a crate over on our island. I have no idea uh, when the hunters are going to attack next. Um, it's been, you know, a, a little while since I've played, so I'm not sure where we're at with that. Got a nice iron node there. So let's get this chicken in here. There we go. And uh, we'll grab this. We're doing pretty good overall, you know, on resources. We got lots of food, and I really probably need to start thinking about some more storage space in here, too. Okay, let's uh, butcher this guy. We're going to just burn the chicken meat. I'm going to throw this stuff right on into here because we don't really care about that so much. Let's split the, this iron in half and just let this continue uh, doing iron for us. All right, so we're up to 166 nails there, but as you can see, this is all the wood that I have. So that's why we are out and about today doing the wood. Let's top off our Ginny here. 
and uh, we'll just put this fertilizer in here for now and feathers can go in our ammo chest. Uh, I made a bunch more uh, premium arrows there. I am going to split those up though, so we're not taking all of them with us. And uh, I mostly use these for combat uh, with, with the human enemies. They're, you know, they're definitely powerful against critters too, but um, I can, I can one-shot, oh, there's a deer out there. I can one-shot these guys with these arrows, um, or at least, if we have a fully armored enemy, if I hit him in the head, even a helmeted head, it'll kill him. If I hit him in the chest, then it takes two shots. But that's still uh, a lot easier kill than where I currently am, you know, with, with my my gun skills. Now that'll change once I start leveling the guns up, which we will do. You know, that isn't my intention to do that. But we haven't gotten there yet, so. Do we want to mess with that deer? Nah, let's let it go. I've got over a full stack of antlers and I got tons of adhesive. I don't think we really need to do that. Okay, so back inside here, let's just top off our food. While we're here, I think um, if we just eat a liver and onions, that's going to give us both protein and fruits and veggies. And we could also pop a tomato too. And that should put us in pretty good shape for food and water. Put that stuff in there. Let's grab the burned chicken and just throw it right on in there. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, it is afternoon. It's uh, I'm not exactly sure. Hey, it's, it looks like it's early afternoon. Can't tell for sure because of the clouds, but I think we're doing pretty good in that regard as well. Okay, so yes, we are after nails, after wood, after everything, as usual. I'm planning another trip down to the lava cave fairly soon. Um, we don't have a ton of crystal left. We have some, but the lava cave, you know, will give us more than just crystal. Get some pretty decent loot down there. So we'll be doing that at some point. And like I said, we want to get our guns, start working on upgrading our guns too. And probably the double barrel shoddy would be the next thing I would focus on. Either, either that or the rifle. Here's some zinc. Let's grab that. I think zinc and copper we have a lot of, like, I would dare say an abundance of, but copper, or not, I'm sorry, iron and uh, potassium, I use it as fast as I can get it, it seems. But that's good, that's all right. I've been, uh, my, you know, my dad was out visiting for the wedding and, and whatnot, and we had a, had a good time together. And he's, uh, he's like into prospecting, like gold prospecting. And he actually has um, tens of thousands of dollars worth of gold um, that he has found. And so he got me into watching um, a couple of shows on the Discovery Channel, Gold Rush, Alaska, which many of you have probably heard and probably know that there is a, an actual video game based off of that show and also Bering Sea Gold where they uh, go out on the Bering Sea up in Alaska with these um, dredges that they're homemade um, you know contraptions that these people have made just homemade um, and dive down under the water and you know dredge up the dirt from the bottom of the sea and um, if they hit the right spot they can they can pull in an, an amazing amount of gold so anyway um, <laughs> I started watching that and enjoying it, and I'm thinking about maybe trying that Gold Rush game out just to see, you know, what it's all about. So, um, don't be surprised if I release a couple of videos or maybe even do a live stream on that. We'll see. Uh, I did watch a little bit of somebody else playing it on YouTube, and it looks like, at least at the beginning of that game, there's a lot of kind of grinding because you have to do a lot of digging in the dirt kind of thing. So, I don't know how well that would work for a live stream um but it could it can make a good uh youtube series uh because you know i can just just cut the camera for those parts there what where we're uh, where i'm just doing a whole bunch of digging in the dirt 
And I don't know if it stays grindy like that, you know, later on when, you know, you start getting into the higher tiered mining with the better machinery and stuff or not. But anyways, it looks like fun and I think we'll give it a try just, just for funsies and yeah, do a little bit of gold mining. So, all right, we got a level two black bear. He is not generally worth killing. I'd rather save my ammo and avoid him if we can. There's a level two brownie up here. Let's see, he's 205 hit points. He's probably worth killing. Let's make sure our shotgun is actually loaded. And then we will give him a softening blow. Um, that was not enough to kill him with one shotgun shot. So we're going to have to expend two, but that's all right. I could have used the, the better arrows, but again, I want to save the premiums for combat with the hunters. Yeah, that's some decent stuff there. Okay, so yeah, let's get some wood. We're going to run up by the arch uh, because I'm, I have very good luck, you know, finding locked crates up there. As you all know, if you've been watching the series all along, and we'll just keep hitting trees as we go along. So far, no hunter action, but that could change. The base, as far as I could tell, the base is fully repaired. Uh, looks like it's in good shape, so I'm sure we can handle be being attacked if necessary. Hold on a sec. Had to make a little adjustment on my back support yeah i've been ha having some some back and hip issues lately too sucks getting old you guys sucks getting old so that's no fun probably gonna have to go see the doctor on that i got this thing where um if i am sitting down and then i stand up too quickly it like pops something out of joint in my hip i don't know if it's my actual hip joint or something else but it hurts like a mofo, and I have to kind of press in on it, and I can feel something popping back into place, and it does not feel good. So I got something going on with my middle back, too. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to go get all that checked out. That's what happens, though. That's what happens when you get old. Get ourselves a little bit of iron here. It's always welcome, of course, and we'll take the zinc, too, because why not? Oh, shit. Forgot about him. Yeah, so the last, uh, the last episodes that we did, where we went to that new area, and I found that spot above the, kind of above the cliff with the waterfall, that is a neat spot. I'm, I'm strongly considering... Uh, using that spot possibly as our next base when we start a new series, whenever that happens. It is my plan to do that at some point in the future. Um, but, you know, I, have, I had another spot on the original map in mind, too, that I wanted to, to do. It was, it's up north by Pine Lake. So I, I have to just decide, you know, uh, which, which one is going to happen next. So... I'm still thinking about that, and of course, I will let you guys know when the time comes which place we're going to do. Okay, let's head up here. We got a wolf off to the right. It looks like the sun is starting to go down, so that's fine. Um, that's just a rabbit. I, we do need a third chicken, so I'm keeping my eyes peeled for a third chicken. Just kind of scanning the terrain here, looking for anything that might pop out. All right, there's a wolf over there. We got a brownie over that way. Is that a... No. Yeah, that's a brown bear. A little bit difficult to tell uh, from the light. Okay, well, let's uh, get this grub tree here and kind of keep our eyes on the two critters. The wolf's right over there. He's level two. 
and then we'll go over by where the wolf is and see if there is a crate available. All right, let's get this out. Oh, there's a chicken. We got him. Okay, nice. We'll take him back to the base and cook him up. Or not cook him up, put him in the pen. You'll, you we will take back to the base and cook up at some point, probably. All right, let's grab that chicken. And I am not seeing any crates. Any crates over here. Like nada. That's unusual. That is unusual. There's usually crates around here, but I guess it's not in the cards today. It is getting dark. We have a, a rabbit down there and another wolf. Let's use some pistol ammo on this guy. All right. We need to go wash our hands because I think it's been... Oh. Just for a second there, I thought that might have been a, uh, a locked crate. Where's my flashlight? Oh, it's out of battery. Oh, okay. We're going to have to make ourselves a new battery for that guy. Okay, let's head back to the base. And get this chicken in the pen, and then we'll see what's next. We still have that stupid black bear there. Yeah, let's just swim out there, or at least avoid him. They just don't usually give enough stuff to make it worth wasting ammo on him. We do have... Oh, there's the attack. All right. Uh, we might be able to get over there in time to kill those guys. Let's see. We're going to have to fight him in the dark, but at least we got some moonlight, so that's going to help. We want to switch to these arrows. And we'll run over and cross over on the bridge. Yeah, I know. You're blowing up my base, you bastards. Hopefully a couple of them get stuck under the, uh, the porch like they tend to do. Giving us those free kills. We like free kills. He's tossing Molotovs in the yard. Oh, that must be a new group because we got the the message again. Yeah, go ahead and throw Molotovs right in my yard. That's not going to do a damn bit of good for you. Holy crap, man. All right, he did. You know what? I'm not going to waste a premium on him because he's already stuck. Anybody else? How's it going, man? Okay. Here. Let's turn on the light. Oh, man. Holy crap. Yeah, they did some damage there. All right. We got some repairing to do. Which is going to set us back on our building, but that's the way this game works. Okay, so this guy's glitched. He's not armored, so have a hatchet in the face, dude. And then we got another guy down here. He also isn't armored. Easy kills. Go get up these bags here. Get a couple shotgun shells back. All right. Is there anybody else? I 
I don't hear anybody else. Usually you can hear them treading water when they're down here. Okay, I think we're good. That Molotov that they chucked in here landed right here on the yard and didn't cause any harm whatsoever. But uh, we do have some damage up here that we're going to have to deal with now. And, oh! That is... Is that a hunter? No, that's that deer. Okay. Swimming in the water out there. So I think that was possibly two attacks because we got the message twice. And we only killed three hunters, so maybe the very first attackers got away. Um, or, you know, sometimes they'll only send one or two. Not sure. But anyway, uh, let's turn this light on here. And, uh, oh, we got to get our chicken in the pen before it succumbs. There we go. We now have three chickens and some more ore. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So let's put um, let's split this in half. We're starting to build up a fairly decent amount of iron there. That's a good thing. These guys. I'm really low on presto logs at the moment, so I'm just going to use wood, even though I'm really low on wood too. But. And then we'll put uh, cloth. Yeah, cloth goes in there. Oh, we have some meat. We got to get in the in the fridge here before it goes bad. That can go in. Um, all right. So I think what I'm gonna do here is let's just make some steak and eggs with what we currently have. And then we'll put the liver in there. We got some fat to put in there. Some blueberries. Tree grubs, oil, and that goes there. This we can put in the thing. I'm. You can tell I'm <laughs> just a little bit... Uh, Rusty, I'm trying to get back into the groove here. And, uh, okay, yeah, we're good. Look at all the bullet casings we have. We should probably make some bullets. We have 17 rifle rounds. 12 of those. Yeah, let's take all these casings and just make some shotgun shells from those. And... Let's make one more just so we can free up that spot in there. There we go. All right. Looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. It is getting light outside. And now we uh, we have some repairing to do. So we got to get that going. Let's get our hammer out of here. We're going to need wood boards and nails and we're going to need to make some planks so let's queue up a few planks there and go up top I also need to remember to make a new flashlight okay get this all fixed here I'll get, eventually get all this upgraded to plating, too. They did a number on this, didn't they? Fortunately, none of it broke, though. I have lost these pieces a few times, too. Usually happens when I'm too far out to get back in time to defend the place. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now let's hit these boards from here. Put 
Gotta get this wall below us too. Okay, so that takes care of the boards on that side. Um, let's take a quick look down here and see if there's anything that needs attention. This all looks good down here. That actually didn't really need to be hit, but we did it anyway. That's in good shape. That is not. You need some attention. Okay, so we have to wait for um, these planks before we can repair the rest of this, but I think that's all we need to worry about. Let's turn these lights off. Uh, in fact, let's look at the light. Oh, wow. Yeah, that light's just about done for. We'll look at this one, too. Nope, that one's in good shape. Okay. Okay, we'll tap that. Need more planks for that guy and that guy. Okay. I'm going to run around this side just to see if anything got hit over here. It's in pretty good shape. I think we're good. Hey, potatoes. Nice. What I'm going to do is wait for these planks to finish up so I can finish repairing. And then I'm just going to go back out again and keep cutting trees and get our wood built up. Keep we're getting our nails built up. And then so that way in the next episode, we'll probably plan on doing a building episode where we'll move that stuff. You know what? Actually, before I let you go, why don't we do the move, move this stuff right now um, and get that that out of the way. Um, so we want to press end, not delete. So term, in terms of where we're going to move these. Oh, yeah, I got too far, didn't I? All right. You know what we might actually do? Let me pick this up again. Got to remember I have that steak and eggs in the thing, too. Yeah, hmm. We don't have enough extension. Oh, no, we have extension down here. Okay. Can I put it on top? Oh, we can put them on top of here. Okay. Um. That's not perfectly centered, but I can I can readjust it after I get get them down there. Here. Whether or not these actually stay on here permanently, I don't know, but pro I mean, probably once we get the tower built, we will take this stuff back up to the very top. Um, so here, let's come down here and, whoops, redo this one, just so it's in the center, because otherwise it's going to bug me. Um, and we can, we can leave them at an angle, there's no problem doing that. Just pretend like maybe that's the best way that the wind's coming. Okay, that's cool. And then um, we got to get the solar panels. Let's check our steak and eggs here. They're all done. We'll pop them in there. And let's actually have some steak and eggs and some tomato soup. I'm going to need to make some more tomato soup. We got a full, uh, not not quite a full thing of potatoes there. All right, what's still cooking? Oh, there's still another one cooking up. Okay, I got you. I got you, Mang. Let's grab the fat out of here and the ash. Whoops. And we'll top you off because you just about were done. Oh wait, we're not done. We gotta we gotta finish repairing these walls out here, don't we? So this one definitely needs some attention. That one could use a hit. The 
door could use a hit and that's that's pretty much all we can do right now yeah I'm gonna I need to make some more boards that's gonna probably require six seven I'd say we're gonna need at least seven more planks to finish uh, repairing the rest of that stuff there okay back to uh, moving our our stuff here So yeah, we'll get this stuff off the roof so that way when uh, we're ready to start building, it's out of the way. So we'll put one there. We'll put one on each of the four sides of the greenhouse. It's a good thing there's no... I can't quite jump up there, can I? It's a good thing there's no structural integrity in this game because I don't know if this glass would be able to handle all that. Let's just temporarily put that there and then we'll go down and adjust it once we get down there and can maneuver properly. Come over here. You know what? I'm actually just going to set that there for a second. All right. this down there yeah and then get this down there okay now what we'll do is we will put this one right here And the turbines aren't hitting that, are they? Not that it matters, but we want it to look good, so. So it matters from that standpoint. Okay, put this one right here. Make sure we're square and in the center-ish. Grab this one and put it here. What's the rotate key? Or is there a rotate key? There is. I just don't remember what it is. I'll have to look it up. But I guess we'll just put it like that for now. <laughs> I know that's not how you would do this in real life, but... Oh, uh, whatever. Whatever. Here, now it's, now it's going to bother me. How do we rotate stuff? Act, controls, forward strafe, actions, reload. We can move things forward or backward. Six and, number pad six and four. Right, okay. Gotcha. So, I mean, the sun comes up that way. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're, because that's temporary anyways. We're not going to keep those there. So we're going to leave it the way it is and not worry about it. Yes, indeed. Okay. All right, guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go here. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I will try. I can't promise anything, but let's tentatively plan on... You know, one to one to two episodes per week for now uh, in this series, and we'll just see how things go. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.